Hi everybody in YouTube land, this is Tony, coming at you from Antonia Take 2 and the WLSFA channel, which means I get to upload them to both places. Don't you wish you could do that at one time? YouTube, think of it. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see, what is going on? Oh, a lot of things, right? As usual, I got my, some new glasses. What do you guys think? These are actually prescription glasses. I've been fighting it. <laughs> Almost for over 10 years having to get these, but I, I do have them. They are trifocals. The choice of being 50, right? <laughs> anyway, um, and I'm trying to get used to them, which is a challenge, but I'm forcing myself to wear them for a week, and hopefully after a week it'll all seem normal. But in any case, um, I'm making this update because I wanted to talk about what's new, what's going on. Um, you guys should know that we have released for sale the tickets for the 2012 Mother of All Meet and Greets. The tagline for the new meet and greet this, uh, for 2012 is Kick It Up a Notch. So um, that is available at the WLSFA website and you can go ahead and uh, reserve your room and buy your ticket. So kick it up a notch, what does that mean? Well, it means we kicked it up a notch. We're on the strip. In fact, not only are we on the strip, we're in the center, we're in the heart heart of the strip. Uh, Bally's is really <laughs> in the middle of everything. Um, and the other neat thing about Bally's Hotel we, and why we chose it is because it's connected to eight other big hotels like Caesars and Planet Hollywood and um, others, a lot of different properties. So we can have a lot of fun having our different events at different venues as opposed to this year where we had it all in you know, the Palace Station. Uh, we, we can branch out a little bit and have fun with these different properties. So that's a lot of fun. And so let me tell you about the contest. Uh, it's a drawing really for the first 200 people that reserve their room at Bally's and buy their ticket. Um, you guys all go into a drawing to be uh, VIPs. Go for free as a VIP at the 2012 Mother of All Meet and Greet. And you truly will be a VIP. We're going to draw, we're going to put all of those names into a drawing on uh, New Year's Eve. We're going to stream it live. Not that you guys have anything to do on New Year's Eve. We're going to do it before midnight. So it'll be before midnight East Coast time. So let's say 8 o'clock Eastern time. So 5 o'clock uh, Pacific time, 5 p.m. And whoever uh, whoever's name is drawn, what they get is two round trip airline tickets on Southwest Airlines. And if you live in an area where Southwest doesn't uh, service, we'll deal with that, but most, most places it does. Uh, two tickets to the event, uh, two silver cards um, at Bally's, and those cards work at all of their properties. And what those basically are, they make you a VIP. These cards are like credit cards, and no matter where you go, you get to the front of the line. You don't need a reservation for a restaurant or a show or anything. You go to the front of the line and you're in. Um, you get discounts at their shops. You get to go into the VIP lounges at all eight of their hotels. And the VIP lounges, imagine free food, drink, um, you know, internet, everything you could possibly want. So really fun, right? And, um, you know, so, oh, and also you get picked up at the airport in a limousine and, and the guy's standing there with, you know, your name and he takes you straight to the hotel and you get priority check-in. I mean, you're treated like, a VIP that you truly are. Why are you a VIP? Because very important people understand that for us, the WLSFA, to move our event to the Strip <laughs> meant we had to sign a big old fat hairy contract with Bally's. And one of the things we have to do is we have to book 250 rooms both Friday night and Saturday night. So, as you guys look at the pricing of this year's event, it got kicked up a notch. Okay, everything costs more when you want to be on the Strip, but this is going to be so head and shoulders above what the, what we did this year. Um, so the rooms, okay, are $99 a night for a weekend in the center of the Strip in Las Vegas in May, which is high season. That is outrageous, okay? Excellent, excellent. And um, there's no resort fee on top of that, so it's really a good deal. So $99 a night, and if you book your room at Bally's, you can go and then buy your ticket for $80, and your ticket to the meet and greet covers everything, all the food, all the beverage, all of the activities that we're gonna have. And um, so that's what the prices are. If you choose to come to the meet and greet and not stay at Bally's, meaning 
stay at some other hotel that's not part of our block, you can do that, but we're going to charge you $170 for your meet and greet ticket. Okay, And that's, uh, we're really trying to encourage everyone, please stay at Bally's. It helps us all. It helps us all bring the cost down for the whole thing. If for some reason we don't book those rooms, it's going to cost us a fortune. Uh, us, me, and the foundation, and we'll have to make it up with those higher ticket prices for people not staying. So please stay with us. It's fun anyway. It's much more fun if you're all in the same place. Trust me on this. And for those of you who have been, that went this year, that have gone to other meet and greets, you know, please share the word on your YouTube channels and Facebook about how great it is to stay together. Also, I want to, I want local peeps to know, if you live in Las Vegas or if or if you're, you're, not, you're coming to Las Vegas and you're going to stay with a friend or family there, that is okay. You still qualify for the discounted early bird ticket pricing. Okay, you don't have to pay the 170 You just have to provide us a local Las Vegas address that you're staying at, um, and, and then you will qualify for the $80 meet and greet ticket. So it's only people that are coming in from out of town, choosing to stay at another hotel other than Bally's, that we're charging a higher price for. So I hope you guys understand that. We're trying to incentivize everyone to stay at Bally's. Surprise! We're going to have other contests. Uh, right now we have the 200 early bird names. Okay, get in on that drawing if you can. To reserve your room, they charge for one night, so $99 will go on your credit card, and that's it. And that's held, and you can cancel up to 72 hours before the event. So, you know, if for some reason you go, I have to have that $99 back, I'm not going to be able to go, you can cancel your room and you will get that money back. So don't think of it as money wasted if you can't go, okay? But that holds your room, it gives us our numbers that we need for the event, and it's all good to go. We have other things we're planning. As, as, as usual, you know, we're gonna release information as, as we get it, who our speakers are, what the events will be, um, and that kind of thing. For people who are signing up, the last question is you click to pay with PayPal. It asks you if you'd like to, you know, go to the WLSFA site. And when you click on that, it'll take you to a questionnaire. And that questionnaire will ask you what name do you want on your badge, or if you bought more than one ticket, who is everyone that you're buying tickets for? And then at the bottom, do you want to volunteer? There's a lot of people that have said, hey, I want to help with the meet and greet. So you can help us now in our planning, or you can help us there at the event. And, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work. So we appreciate anybody who will volunteer. And you don't have to necessarily, you know, volunteer for the entire time you're there. You could say, I'll help with registration one morning, or I'll help decorate for one party, or whatever. Just let us know if you'd like to help. We hope you do. Um, what else? Connie. Everyone, if you haven't been watching Quilting Connie B on YouTube, her progress is amazing. As you all know, she's a first grant recipient. She had her surgery in March on the 23rd, and she's down to two, I believe it's 252 pounds. When Connie started this journey with us, she was at 347 pounds. So Connie, bravo, she's very, very close to losing 100 pounds. So when that day happens, I'm coming on here with sparklers. So Connie, you let me know. So I gotta put on, you know, the hat and the sparklers, all right? Just for you. Speaking of sparklers, it's almost the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to all my friends. Rosemary, Connie, Sally, Wendy, Jeff, Cindy. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. I, you know I can't say it to all of you. Rocky, I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday weekend. Um, other things, let's see. Uh, Hmm, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. I'm sure there's something. Oh, Rosemary Almgren and I will be traveling to the OH event in Seattle. That's uh, fabulous in Seattle, I believe it is. Carrie De La Cruz is the, um, the keynote speaker. And we're going to be there with our booth, with our quilt. So if you'd like to donate and sign our signature quilt, we certainly would love that. We get to show parts of the documentary, and then Rosemary and I will do a little talk and questions and answers about paying it forward and how to get involved. So we're super looking forward to that. We talk on the 16th at a breakout session. So if you're going to be at the OH event, come by our booth, say hello, um, and we look forward to seeing you there. We're going to try and get to all the OH events this year. Uh, I've got it scheduled, so we're going to try and do it. Um, God willing and money prevailing. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off. How many minutes are we? Nine. I'm still struggling, as you can see, with these glasses. Uh, <laughs> right now, Jim and I, I'm just waiting for Jimmy's upstairs getting ready. We're going to go out and just have a little fun, go find some cute little cafe to have a cappuccino or, I don't know, maybe some clams. Who out there likes steamed clams? 
If you like steamed clams, click the thumbs up. If you don't like steamed clams, click the thumbs up. <laughs> the thing that helps us spread the word about the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America, the only nonprofit organization raising funds and resources from patients, us, from doctors, from hospitals, and from companies, and putting that together and granting surgery to people is the WLSFA. Please help spread the word if you know someone in need. We're about to release our applications. That's big news. I should have put that at the beginning. Um, we're just about a few weeks away. It's very complicated, people. I know everyone's been asking about it, but the way we're going to do it is the applications will be available and patients can give that application to their doctors to refer them, okay? Because the doctors are, are going to refer their patients in need. You have to first have a bariatric surgeon. Uh, anyway, that whole process I'm going to be working on in the next week to detail all that information on the website, post the application, and, and uh, what the rules are for applying for grants and all of that. And away we go. Uh, we are very close to having enough money for our third surgery. Very, very close. Um, and by the time the person gets through the process and everything happens, we'll, we'll be in good shape. But, we're, you know, hopefully even more. But uh, it's time, you know, to do that, to, to pick our very first committee selected uh, candidate. So anybody who's thinking about applying, very close, very close. I promise to email you all an update the second you can get involved in that. So that's coming up. Um, and... Uh, Wanted to say we have two new board members, in case you weren't at the meet and greet. We have Dr. Sarangal, a bariatric surgeon from the Bay Area and, and Hawaii. Um, one of the people who created the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. So he's on our board and he's helping us with all things medically related. And then we also have a gal named Cindy Inkpen, who's a bariatric specialist. She helps design bariatric programs and make programs to be qualified for centers of excellence. And she knows all things bariatric. So thank you, Cindy, for being on our board. She's going to help us get going on some research projects to bring in some real big grant money so we can do lots and lots of surgery. So that's what's in our future. Lots of good stuff to talk about. Have a great 4th of July. I love you all to pieces. Ciao. Bye.